every now and again you come across something in this game that still is just really awesome to look at. You come over the hill, see this nice dusky dawny kind of setup over this gigantic statue of an XR. Just brings back some of those awesome exploration memories. This is one of the reasons. This is one of the reasons that I constantly come back to this game right here. What is up, guys? Wraith here, Gray Bearded Gaming, and we just dodged a bullet because I uh, gotten disconnected. Thankfully, I wasn't uh, mid pull at the time, but the spot I was in was not far enough up the wall where I might have actually pulled uh, pulled some bad stuff going on, and I might need to adjust. Hopefully, this. Hopefully there's not a lot of sound bleeding over at the moment. So I'm actually, uh, I've got some different EverQuest going off to the side. And I have a sneaky suspicion that too much of my sound is bleeding over. So I'm going to piddle with that for a few minutes. Because I don't want to spam this non-stop. And I will be right back after I get that volume fixed. Give me just one minute, guys. And we'll, uh, we'll do this again. Hold on one second for me. And we're back. Hopefully this time I've got it uh, got it a little better this time around. There might be a couple noises here and there. We'll kind of see what happens. I'm uh, kind of giving this a test run for the first time ever of uh, having multiple instances of... Well, I do multiple instances of EverQuest all the time. That's not a problem. It's like the game is, is such that it's really not even that big of a drag on a system... Is it not the guy right there? Yeah, there it is. All right. It's not really that big of a drag on the system, but I'm always uh, very, very careful to mind, you know, the the rules, everything of the community that I am, you know, playing in. And I want to make sure that, uh, you know, anybody in this community knows that I follow their rules pretty strictly. I'm not, uh, not boxing P99. I don't have another, you know, account going to the background. It's... Uh, Actually, my EverQuest live group. I'm trying to see if I can get them run both kind of ow, at the, the same time. So as you can see, we are back over in the over there. So we tried um, multiple times, multiple times to get some action over there at the giant fort, and unfortunately, it just it never panned out for us, guys. We um we tried probably three nights this week. And every time, you know, there's, and it's a popular spot, don't get me wrong, I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking people trying to go get some nice experience, but every time there was two to three groups in there, uh, you know, the place was all the way on lockdown, there was just nothing that we were going to be able to do to get, you know, any experience done. And, you know, I tried to mess around some, like going up and down, like the river a little bit, but it was just so inconsistent. So finally, I just decided, you know what, we're just, you know, we're going to pop back out here and we are just going to uh, just do some some open field again. It's, uh, you know, this and unfortunately, this is more for the sake of just experience because we're not really going to be able to get any loot. I mean, I, honestly, I mean, I would have been happy if I could have gotten a group at the giant fort, but I couldn't even quite get that uh, rolling, unfortunately, because most of the times. You could tell they were kind of pre-made, uh, pre-made crews of people, you know, so even when I asked around, like, I never, never even got, uh, you know, any feedback, really, when I, when I did a group invite, even if I'd asked, you know, hey, you know, what's, what's the camp check? There was always, you know, lots and lots of people at the Giant Fort, none of which uh, not needed or wanted a shaman. I imagine probably because there's probably a whole lot of XR shaman out there. They do make a very good shaman themselves. The extra armor class in the same region that we're we're based. I think the troll region might be a little bit higher, but uh, again, for min maxing class, you know, XRs. If you don't care about faction, we're a great class to go with. So we're back out here. We're doing some open food. We're forgetting how to speak our language. Apparently, let's try that again. As mentioned, we're doing some open field killing. We are on the side of the zone near the Warslicks Woods, Warslicks Woods, um, and it's it's really fascinating too because you know if I go that way, we'll run into greens, you run into blues, 
you know, out in front of me, you know, greens and blues. But if you go over here, not too very far at all, you know, and I'm like, say that it's, it's a decent chunk of, there's a decent radius right in front of me. We, you know, you get some green mobs, get some blue mobs, you got a pretty wide range. But then there's like this tower over here that's up over this hill. And you can see it kind of coming into view now. And pretty much everything at, around, or on the other side of that tower is gigantic to us. Everything that I've seen so far is just bright red. And, of course, you know, just like everything else in its own, it's all ready, ready to attack. So, I mean, you do have to be very careful there. Because, again, a lot of stuff in Kunark was attack on site. There's not a lot of roamers right now for me to target. So, you know, sometimes you can watch, like, the bigger rhinos and the bigger uh, the succulents, like the bigger plants and some of the bigger chickens will scroll through there. But, like I said, as you can see, just from targeting that one guy, we go from, you know, a mix of blue and that guy's green to all the sarnax in here will, uh, will tear me a new one. So it's it's a crazy zone, it really is. It's um you know the the level spread on the zone you really need to know, or I will say you need to really be mindful of what area you're at in the over there. Which at the same time the other problem it gives for us because it it is such open field there is such spread we actually did have you know kind of a hard time honestly. We tried a little bit on the other side of the zone, kind of closer to the over there. Um, just, well, not the over there, excuse me, closer to the outpost, I should say, just to see if we could get that to work out for us. And it was, it was really difficult because it's, it's one of those swaths where we would have, you know, a couple of little green guys and a couple of blue and then some bright red mixed in, you know, made it hard to make sure you're picking good targets. Some of the mobs are actually kind of hard to see, believe it or not. I mean, a lot of them roam, you know, almost everything here moves, you know, the cats, in the same name can go from green all the way up to red. But what I've noted, like some of those chickens can be difficult to see, especially when you start running through that grass and things like that, because they're not very big. And that can be a pain. And the other thing, of course, that we run into, unfortunately, and again, not knocking a class, not knocking a play style, it just happens to, to coincide with what I'm trying to get some things done, is we've run into a lot of bards doing massive swarm kites, which just makes it super difficult for us to get anything done. Don't want to get in their way. I don't want to pull things off their train. I don't want to accidentally aggro anything on their train because I would not be able to handle that. It would just obliterate me before anything else happened. So I think we're going to uh, we're gonna stay up on this wall here for a little bit and we're uh, we're just going to pick off some strays. Like I so said, we got chickens in front of us, some of the seconds, some of the rhinos. Uh, one of the sneaky funny things here, of course, is one of the biggest things in the area is the rhino, like size-wise, is the rhinos and they are super fast which is kind of ridiculous because they will pretty much run me down on so if I'm not careful, if I'm not doing the classic zigging and zagging. So uh, stick around, guys. Let's do uh, let's do some open field killing tonight. Let's see what we can get done. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe we get lucky and something drops. I just don't think anything, anything drops this area for us. We will find out. Stick around. Here we go.
Alright guys, we're going to grab this, probably this last pull here for the evening and pull him back to our spot. Basically, I mean, all we've been doing is working our way up and down the wall. And I say up and down, we've actually been working back and forth, kind of north and south along the wall. But we always pull things back to the wall. Um, as you saw in a couple of little snippets and clippets in there, there are a lot of roamers. I mean, pretty much everything just roams. There are, you know, you've got to be near some of the specific, like, little buildings or outposts to have more static mobs. Like, everything in this region is going to roam on you. I mean, one of the fights we had, I was actually sitting here metting and didn't get quite far enough up the wall and just aggroed something that was that was walking by. Um, I think it was one of the one of the chickens that hit us from behind. But all in all, like I said, it's it is not a bad spot if you want to just do some uh, some open field kind of killing, kind of quiet and out of the way. I haven't seen anybody on this side over here. I think because the terrain is so uh, so hilly and bumpy right in this particular area that it's not great for uh, for the bard kiting. They'll stick to the other side where it's much flatter. They have a lot more room to work. So I've been pretty much, like I said. Uh, you know, left alone, and like I said, a lot of the action in the forest is actually coming from the other side, coming from a lot of the Ixar. So, said so far, you know, pretty quiet spot. I think that we're going to, we're about halfway through level, by the way, we punched out about halfway through level, we'll see, you know, what if anything we managed to make up, any of the cash, any of the stuff that we've gotten. But, uh, I think we are going to try to make a, a trek to, to a different kind of hunting ground, I think. Well, I mean, this one does work. It's not exactly fantastic. I'm definitely going to try this weekend and get back to the Giants and see if I can get a piece of the Giant action. I mean, one, the experience is good. The cash is good. And we always need that. And at the same time, you know, those earring upgrades are just super nice. Those things, you know, they sell for a fortune out of the gate. We're not going to spend the money to buy them, obviously, because we're saving for spells. I mean, we've got, you know, a couple hundred plats sneaking up, I think, on uh, kind of close-ish to like 300. But with spells at, you know, close to 20 plat a pop coming up, you know, need to be careful on where we're, where we're putting our cash. But, you know, again, a you know, productive night. I've been sitting here jamming to music. You know, come up here, come up the wall, camp the full, jump over here on another one of my guys, beat somebody up. Jump back over here, beat somebody up, go back to medding, beat somebody up. So it's been uh, it's been a good time tonight, keeping myself uh, very busy jumping around on all the screens, which has been pretty cool. Cause that was my holiday present from from my wife was a nice. I've got a uh, a ridiculous amount of monitors set up in front of me. She got me this super nice six monitor arm setup with uh, some brand new monitors to mount in the middle. So I'm looking at about quad 27s. It's awesome. I got uh, 22 on one side, a 24 on the other. The 24 is connected to a system behind me. So that's how I've been able to keep uh, to keep other things going and keep everything on the up and up, which has been very cool. But that kind of leads me to a segue. Just as a heads up, guys, it is that time of year. It's, it's fourth quarter at work. We are getting hammered at work. It's also lots of holidays coming up, vacation time coming up. Um, you know, so if if for whatever reason I do miss a week, don't panic. I haven't gone anywhere. It's just that time of year. Like I said, the kids will be out of school, so we'll have to do some of that. Plus, super busy at work, like I said, doing the Q4 thing, wrapping that up. And then again, at the same time, you've got Christmas, Solstice, Hanukkah. Pick your holiday. Kwanzaa, if that's your thing. There's so many coming up. You know, there's so much stuff happening that, uh, you know, we'll kind of see what happens schedule-wise and see what, if anything, you know, kind of gets in the way. So just kind of a heads up. Again, I will definitely, you know, if I miss one, I will definitely be back. So I'm not going to be gone for very long. But having said all of that, as always, guys, if you do like what we're doing here, please don't forget to like, comment, maybe drop us a subscribe down below. We'd love to hear from you guys, especially if you have a cool idea about some place maybe we could go, that would be really awesome. I'm slowly starting to remember some of the spots. I'm just not big enough yet for the spots that I remember that were my favorites. So we'll see what happens there. But until next time, guys, I think this is going to be a really good spot to call it. Stay safe. Stay distant. Stay in EverQuest. There's still a lot more to Kunark to go, especially if you're going at the speed I'm going, which is pretty much at the speed of smell so far. We'll catch you guys next time. Good night, guys.